Welcome to Antiquity Reborn and welcome to Pole Shifts for Dummies. Raise your finger who has never heard of a pole shift. I do not mean magnetical pole shift because this magnetic pole shifts all the time. But I mean physical pole shift. The shift of the spin axis. Shift of true north. If you ask a climate expert or a geologist the question why was the glaciation ice sheet that once covered the northern hemisphere, why was this ice sheet eccentric from the spin axis? Most experts have never thought about this question. Most experts have never even realized this was the case because most projections of the ice sheet is done on a flat map and on a flat map you don't see this phenomenon clearly and some experts might reply in a way that suggests they don't really understand the question and don't really understand the problem because often this eccentricity of the ice sheet is claimed to be the result of the Milankovitch cycles and I will explain later some little bit more about Milankovitch cycles but in short the Milankovitch cycles consist of three elements that is the tilt of the spin axis that is the wobble of the spin axis and that is the orbit of the earth around the sun which is eccentric and this rate of eccentricity varies. The main point is that none of these parameters influence the eccentricity or centricity of ice formation around the spin axis. Now ask the simple question why was the northern part of Russia not entirely covered by a large ice sheet? because the vast landmass of Russia encourages the formation of ice sheets and there are also big mountain ranges in Russia. So if there was a large ice sheet on North America and a large ice sheet on Europe, why not an ice sheet on Russia? And the explanation for this phenomenon is very simple. The spin axis has enormously changed. A few hundred thousand years ago the spin axis was on Greenland in several stages and we have discovered there is an intimate relation between the orientation of ancient structures, the foundations of ancient structures and the locations of ancient geographical poles. No magnetic poles, geographic poles. I say this explicitly because there are a lot of people who have the feeling oh it is about the magnetic pole. No, it is not about the magnetic pole. A changing magnetic pole has no consequences for changes in the sky, so to speak. A wandering magnetic pole has no consequences for solstices, sunrise, east, west, north and south. You see here the example of uh, the Earth rotating around a spin axis located on Greenland and when we project the ice formation around this suggested pole you see this exactly expanding into the directions of North America, Europe and the western part of northern Russia. Alaska and eastern Siberia were outside the sphere of this ancient pole on Greenland. And when we project this ice sheet formation from our current pole, we see a large eccentricity. Give me a thumb up if you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon right next to the subscribe button. You will be notified when I upload the next video. In the next video we will 
deeper examine this pole shift phenomenon that can be tracked down by the orientation of ancient structures, the foundations of ancient structures. So, thank you for watching and I hope to see you the next time. Bye-bye.